Humans naturally want to find meaning and feel connected to others. We often like to think we're part of something larger than just us, doing things that really matter to us deep down. Lots of spiritual teachings say that a greater power chose us for certain jobs. These teachings can make us feel really motivated, but sometimes it can also leave us feeling unsure. Ever wondered if you're one of those special people chosen by God? It's a question many think about, but the answer is not always obvious. Rather than searching for clear signs that you're chosen, it's better to notice clues that show you're following a path that feels right. This path is where your own talents and life experiences make a good impact on others. Let's talk about some signs that show you might be on a divinely guided path. Sign number one. Your viewpoint stands out. When you feel like a higher power is speaking to you, or you are called by higher power, it's like your inner self is waking up. This wake up makes your gut feelings stronger. Once your gut feelings are awake, you start to understand things in a special way. It's like seeing with your heart, not just your eyes. This means you notice things that others might miss. While many people only see what's on the outside, if you're chosen, you see deeper. You look at the world with more than just your eyes. This special way of looking lets you understand things in ways that not everyone does. Sign number two. Your guidance comes from a higher power. When you're one of the chosen few, you know that God is the most important authority, not just people. You don't just go by facts or data, you follow deeper spiritual truths. This means you listen more to what God says than what people say. You might even question beliefs that most people accept, challenge religious leaders, or do things differently from what society expects. Your promise is to do what God wants, even if it means doing hard or unpopular things. Those who are chosen are guided not just by what they know, but by messages from God. They do things and make choices based on God's greater understanding. Sign number three. You show humility and kindness. Being chosen by God doesn't mean you can't be replaced. Throughout history, we've seen even kings favored by God become too proud and then lose that favor. If you're truly called by God, it's important to be humble and kind. Bragging or acting arrogant is not what God wants. Those who are chosen show real humility and kindness. They don't do things just to make themselves look good or get what they want. Instead, they really care about others and put them first. They don't try to be the most important person in the room. Instead, they use what they're good at to help others. God likes people who are humble, and he helps them succeed. But people who are arrogant often end up failing. Sign number four. You love God with all your heart. Deep down, loving God is really important if you're chosen. Even when you're not sure about things or you're scared, your love for God stays strong. You know that there's something special for you to do, a job that's meant just for you. Because you know this, you keep trying to do what you're meant to do, no matter how hard it gets or what you have to give up. This strong commitment shows how much you really care about God as a chosen one. Sign number five. You're always helping, but no one helps you. When you start a spiritual journey, you might find yourself helping others a lot without getting much back. This can be hard and sometimes seem unfair. But it's good to remember that your main support comes from a higher power, not always from other people. The good stuff you get isn't just things you see here on earth, but it's waiting for you in the spiritual world. You don't help others to get praised or noticed, you do it because it's important and helps everyone. This way of thinking makes you feel better, even when you don't get a lot back right away. Sign number six. You've got a special spiritual talent. If you're one of the chosen ones, you probably have a special talent or maybe even a few that make you different from others. These talents can be all sorts of things. Maybe you're good at healing, predicting the future, or feeling spirits around you. Lots of people who feel close to the spiritual world also feel like they have an important job to do. You might feel like you have to use your special skills to help people and make things better. This feeling of responsibility is a big part of your journey with spirituality. Sign number seven. You experience betrayal. Sadly, chosen ones often go through betrayal. It can come from people they really trust, like a close friend, family member, or even someone they look up to spiritually. 
Betrayal hurts a lot and can be confusing. But even when it happens, it's a reminder that the most dependable love and loyalty come from God. Knowing this helps you trust in God's constant support, even when people let you down. Sign number 8. You're always searching for the truth. When you're one of the chosen ones, you really want to find out what's true, even if it's hard to hear. This feeling pushes you to look into spiritual books, talk about big ideas, or study science to learn more about the world and what you're meant to do in it. If you're chosen by God, it's really important to care about what's true. People like this really value what God says, using it to decide what's right and wrong. This focus on truth not only makes their faith stronger but also helps them make good choices and understand life better. Finally sign number 9. You feel alone. People who are chosen often feel like they're apart from everyone else. This feeling of being alone can happen because others don't understand them or because they're not accepted for their special role. They might feel like they don't fit in or that their path is really different from most people's. But being alone like this is an important part of their spiritual journey. This time when they're alone is often when God gets them ready for bigger things. While they're by themselves, God works closely with them, making their hearts stronger and better, getting them ready for the important jobs and tough parts that come with their calling. Even though it's hard, going through this process is really important for their spiritual growth and for getting them ready for what they're meant to do. So, my friend, the journey of those chosen by God is full of big moments and really important spiritual awakenings. People on this journey face special challenges like feeling alone, being let down by others, and always searching for what's true. Each of these tough moments helps them grow spiritually and understand things better. Even when things are hard, their love for God keeps them strong and determined. Just remember, being chosen is not just about dealing with hard times, it's about getting ready for something really important. The tough stuff you go through is not just roadblocks, it's getting you ready for even bigger things ahead. When you feel alone or let down, remember that you're being made stronger, like gold being polished, getting ready for the important things God has planned for you. For those who are chosen, every challenge they face is not a step back, it's a step forward to something amazing that God has planned for them. I hope you learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and leave a comment. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.